All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to drive perfectly in Logan and how to pass your test in Logan. Um, we're going to go through some common areas where examiners will take you. Um, but again, this area, these areas that I show you is not guaranteed to come up in your test, um, but is most likely to come up. It, will, it probably will come up in your test. Um, just from the number of exams that I've done with other students before. So we're going to start by going straight ahead. So this is a one-way road. So you come to where that truck is coming from. That's a one-way road, turns around and goes straight. So we're going to put into drive. Just going out from the transport. So normally you wouldn't park your car over here. You'd park your car where that, car, where that gray car is in front of me. When you come for your test, that's where you park your car. But I didn't want to disturb the guys going for the test. So I just parked across, the, across over here. Um, so we're going to go out nice and slowly and just make sure we're looking to our right side. Yeah, no one's coming. I'm gonna keep going. Just careful of this pedestrian crossing over here. Make sure there's no one crossing it when you go past, otherwise you will fail your test in the transport office. When you're approaching these gates, you want to make sure there's no pedestrian crossing. Uh, you want to make sure that it is safe for you to go. Uh, have a look both sides and then pass through and go. Uh, we're going to turn left over here. Uh, we're going to slow down and have a look to our right side. And there is a car coming, so we're going to stop and let, the car, let those cars cross. There's three cars coming through. There's another car coming through, so we're just gonna wait, wait for those cars to cross by. There's no hurry in your test, you don't have to go as soon as possible. Um, just make sure it's nice and safe for you to go, and then you can cross a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take it from here. It is, it is raining over here, so I'm gonna put my headlights on um, just to make sure that we, there's good, good visibility for other cars. Us looking at us. Um, it is also uh, my my uh, wipers are on, so you don't have to put your wipers on straight away. But obviously, when your visibility gets low, it's a good idea to put your wipers on. Uh, for back wipers, what I do is I just put the wipers on whenever you want, just to make sure that you can see through the back as well. So this is one of the most common areas where students will fail. Um, it's the very first intersections when you when you come across when you turn left from the transport office. Um, the problem is with this with this intersection is that the lines are not pro not properly marked out, uh, and students will accidentally go into their left lane, and they will fail their test. Um, without that's obviously turning left, at a, changing lanes at an intersection without indicating as well, so that would be a fail in the test. So you can see the line right over here. I'm going to kick our car back in a bit, and then keep going straight. So the time is 1.58, so we're on the edge of that school zone. Uh, so we're just gonna slow down to 40 anyway, because it's right next to the school zone. Uh, right, pretty close to a school zone starting. School zones are two to four p.m. Uh, it's gonna go nice and slowly at 40. And once we go past this 50 sign, that's when we can increase our speed to 50. So up ahead, I'm looking, I can, I'm looking long, and I can see there's a pedestrian crossing. As you're approaching, make sure you're looking both ways on the pedestrian crossing. You don't want to approach it too quickly. Uh, if we need to slow down, you can slow down a bit, but you don't want to slow down too much and cause a hazard for the uh, traffic behind you. So slow down just a tiny bit. Uh, take that speed bump at 20 kilometers per hour or close to 20. That's what you want to do. Um, now, again, another pedestrian crossing. We're looking both ways again. Make sure no one's going to cross and then you can take it nice and easy. Well, when I did that speed bump, I did it at 30. It was nice and smooth. It wasn't too fast either. So the very first intersection, uh, very first intersection coming up, we're going to turn left over here. Um, this is one place where I've seen some students fail over here. So we're going to turn left over here. So first thing we notice is a 40 kilometers per hour. Second thing we notice is there's these islands drawn over here. So the reason why that van is stopping for us is because he has a sign on his side that says give way. 
on my side there was no sign now there is a good giveaway sign for me so now if there is a car coming which there is i'll stop right here i'm gonna let this car through first as there is a giveaway sign for me so the car comes through now once the car goes by i can now proceed to go past so if you do go past and don't fail to give way that will be a fail in the test so always make sure you give way to car or cars coming through uh, at that at that island so we're going to turn left over here and then up ahead we're going to do we're going to turn right over here as well so again looking into the street make sure no one's coming through and turn nice and slowly into your street Again, the speed limit that we saw right at the beginning was 40, so we should be 40 through here. Speed bump over here, and it says 20, so we're gonna slow down close to 20, and take that speed bump nice and easily, and keep going. There's, there's a, a T intersection coming up ahead. Uh, we're gonna put our right indicator on, letting everyone know that we're turning right. And when we start slowing down, we're looking both ways make sure there is no one coming towards us yeah and now we're going to start slowly take off and keep going straight so that intersection that i showed that uh those islands that i showed you at the start that's one common area where they will bring you um to catch you up to catch you out sorry uh you definitely want to slow down and stop if the giveaway is on your side so the giveaway changes from so with the uh right about the the island that when you enter the street the first island there is no giveaway for you the second island there is a giveaway for you so that's if you're coming into the street uh, when you're going out uh, i'm going to show you guys over here what it, what's the situation for when you're going out so it is 40 so we're going to stay at 40 to go nice and slowly making sure that no one's coming through keep going at 40. okay so this second island we've got priority They've got a giveaway on their side, and you can see that the cars are slowing down for me to let me through. So this is a perfect example to let me through. Uh, the next island now has a giveaway giveaway sign for me. So if a car comes it comes in, which here it is, we're going to stop over here and let this car come through. We will now see there's no car coming through, and now we're going to proceed on. Uh, there's a stop sign up ahead. So we're going to put our left indicator on and turn and position our car to the left because we're going to turn left and make sure there's no car coming from the left side and now we can proceed. So this is a train tracks uh, crossing, <coughs> Trinder crossing. Uh, this is one of the most important ones, uh, important crossings uh, in, at the Logan Transport Office. So if you are coming to a transport office, I'd highly recommend uh, go to, to go through this. Uh, we've got another, another video coming up. Uh, that shows you uh, that breaks this crossing down and shows you how uh, in depth how to do this crossing so when we approach over here we'll look across there's no one standing over there so we're going to turn we're going to turn right up ahead as well so indicate right go nice and slowly over the crossing look both ways to my left side there's a car coming so i'm going to stop and let that car proceed first Yeah, okay, we're gonna continue on now. Speed limit 60, so I'm gonna slightly increase my speed. I'm at 50 right now. So I'm gonna slightly increase my speed to like about 55. It is raining, so I'm gonna be a bit slower. I wanna make sure that my car is under control. I'll put my indicator on. I can, you can see the car over there has his left indicator on. So he's going to slow down a bit, let, let, let that car go first, as he is on our, on our right. Let that car go first, look to your right side, no one's coming, so we can keep going. Uh, up ahead, we're going to turn right again. Onto Blackwood Road. The first thing you'll notice, and we're turning right here, there's a pedestrian crossing right over here. So we're going to look to the pedestrian crossing, make sure no one's crossing, there's no car coming, and we can continue on, on Blackwood Road. There's another pedestrian crossing coming up, so we're going to slow down a bit, 
not too much. Nice. You want it to go through. You want to go through um, pedestrian crossings nice and slowly. You don't want to speed through them. You want to go through nice and slowly. Um, you'll see up ahead. There's a stop sign. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to stop at this stop line at the white line, and then beyond that, you'll see another pedestrian crossing. So I'm going to make sure that it's safe for me to go, and I'm going to carry on. And then I'm going to also make sure there's no pedestrian over here, and then I'm going to carry on. So as these lights coming up, we're going to turn right. Uh, but I want to go into the left lane and then turn right. That's something the examiners might test you on to see if you can come into the left lane and then turn right. So we're coming to our left lane and now we'll turn right. I'll put an indicator on and we'll approach the stop line nice and slowly and we'll stop over there. If you do stop over the stop line, it is a fail in the test. You want to approach that stop line nice and, slow, nice and smoothly and stop at the stop before the stop line uh, you don't want to stop over it if you stop too far behind as well it's not a fail but it could it would go down as a minor mistake but you don't want to stop over that line that's the, that's a major major mistake all right so there's a green light so when you proceed nice and slowly you can see there's a dotted line that guides us to the right side what you want to do is nice and slowly turn and keep going straight you don't want to cross it you don't want to cross that dotted line that's on your right side so you can see over here the lights are going yellow so we're going to stop at the yellow light and let the pedestrians cross. So when you're turning in and the light goes, uh, so when, when you're turning in and you see the dotted line on your right hand side, you don't want to cross that. You want to, you want to hug that line and you want to go nice and smoothly with that turn. If you go over that line, if more than one third of your car goes over that line, it is a fail in the test. So you want to, you want to stay on the left side of that line. So there's a green light for us, so we're going to keep going straight now. And from the lights coming up, we're going to turn right again. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay in this lane and we're going to put our right indicator on because we are going to another lane, going on to another lane, so we have to put our right indicator on to turn right. We're going to stop behind this car, giving enough space, uh, about a one car length space, so I can still, his, still see his tire touching the road, so that's a good distance to stop. Generally, it's about one car length. So you can see the cars are going really slowly ahead. Um, the one thing about this intersection is that the dotted line is very weird. So you have to go a bit wide and now turn into your lane. So make sure you're not turning early, make sure you're going a bit wider and straight into your lane. We're going to turn left over here and there's another pedestrian crossing right in front of us. So while, when you're approaching the pedestrian crossing you're always looking for these yellow signs, that's the first thing. And then you're looking if there's anyone crossing. No one's crossing, so we can go over. And you can see there's a car coming up ahead. So we're gonna stop over here and let the car, let the truck, let the truck go first. Once he's gone, and now we can proceed on. We're gonna also merge over into that right lane, do a shoulder check, and now come over. So that's a mirror check and a shoulder check, and then come over. So the speed limit is 60 over here, but the truck in front of me is going is not, is not doing 60. And for right for right reasons, because it is raining. So you want to go slightly slower to make sure you still have control of your car on this lane. On this road, sorry. So the speed limit is 60. I'm doing about 55. I feel comfortable doing 55 over here. I'm gonna do a quick swipe of the back back window to make sure I, my my visibility is still good from the back. I'm gonna check my road position and see where my see where the lanes are. The, due to the low visibility, the lanes could be hard to see, but just make sure you've got a good good road position uh, with your car, uh, and you you can see those lanes as well. To our left side, there is a bike lane. So you want to make sure that you don't cross over into that bike lane. You can use a bike lane, but you don't want to stay in that bike lane. So we're going to slow down again. You can see this bend coming up. There's 40, 40 recommended speed. 
So we're gonna slow down to just to 40. So when I'm doing this bend, I'm doing it at 40. It is a wet weather, so 40 is good for this for this condition. So up ahead, there's a big pedestrian crossing coming up. Crosses from one side of the road to the other side. It's, a, it's one of the biggest ones in this area. But you'll also notice there's an island in the middle. So if someone starts from the right-hand side and they come to the island, then we need to stop once they reach the island. So there's no one's at the island, so I can keep going. And no one was on the left side, so we could keep going. So I'm still doing about 55 over here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to speed suit too much. I'm not going to get not, not going to get too close to the 60 speed limit. I keep going. So this is a bit of a weird one, so there's a bit there's a bit of a bit of a turn over here, so we're gonna slow our car down, make sure because it is wet as well. Just wanna slow your car down a bit uh, around this bend. Go nice and slowly, go into the bend and keep going straight. So up ahead there's another pedestrian crossing coming. Make sure you're looking out for this one carefully. You can see there's a pedestrian crossing over there, so we're gonna slow down, let the pedestrian reach the other end, and then we can carry on. Uh, again, looking both sides, make sure no one's coming and keep going. This is a pretty wide bend, so we're just slow down, take this nice and slowly. You can see the suggested speed up ahead is 40, I'm doing about 42. So I'm just going to slow down just a bit more, as it is wet as well, so do it nice and slowly and keep going straight. From these lights, we're going to keep going straight. Hands back on the steering wheel, keep going straight. You can see up ahead the speed limit is 60. We are in a school zone, so it's 2 o'clock. So if we see a school zone sign, we will slow down to uh, 40. School zones are strictly enforced, so if you're even going over a bit, you will fail the test in uh, test conditions. So make sure you're, you're going at or below 40. So you can see up ahead there's a school zone sign flashing. And from these lights coming up, we're going to turn right. Put my right indicator on. So the light has gone yellow for me. So I'm going to stop at my yellow light, which is now red. Come nice and easy stop. So this is a common light or it's called a share light. Um, so what we're gonna do, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a green light for us and a green light for the other uh, for the oncoming traffic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our car into the intersection, keeping our indicator on, but we're not gonna turn. We're gonna keep our car and keep it straight. We're gonna stop over here, just over the line. And now once we find a safe gap, we can go nice and smoothly into that, into that turn. If that light did turn red, I have to turn on a red light. Reason being because I am in the middle of the trans, uh, traffic, uh, in the middle of the intersection, so I have to go on a red light. So make sure if the light goes red, you go nice and smooth, nice and safe. It is safe to do. It is the right thing to do because if you stay in the intersection, then you're blocking other traffic. So when it's a red light, make sure you go straight. Do not do not reverse. Do not uh, try doing any other action. Just turn uh, turn your car and carry on with your with your normal procedure. 
We're gonna put our left indicator on. We're gonna turn left up here. So as we push this giveaway, we move to the left side, to the right side, and we see those cars coming. Once these cars go by, I can get carry on. Speed limit is 60, so we're gonna go back up to about 55, 56. Take it nice and easy. It is wet, so you want to go. You don't want to go too fast. Again, pedestrian crossing, looking from the left side to the island. No one's coming, so we can keep going. I'm gonna have a look at my rear view mirror. Uh, sorry, my rear view mirror, and my, you can see my back window. Uh, visibility is a bit low, so I'm gonna put my wipers on for the back window and keep proceeding. Over here, there's a uh, on our left side. There's a bike lane, and it's faded out, really faded out to the point where you can't see it. So I, a lot of my students will go into that lane without realizing they're in that lane. So what you have to do is you have to go a bit wider. Stay a bit wider once you go into that lane when you're going around that bend. Sorry. So we have been gone for about 22 minutes. Your exam will last about approximately 30 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, if you come back earlier, if you come back within 10, 15 minutes, most likely it will be a fail. Um, they won't, examiners won't tell you until you get to the transport office and you get out of the car and you go back to the uh, meeting point where they first met you and then they'll explain to you why you failed, how you failed and what you, what you, can, do, what you can do next. Um, but they won't tell you in the car. Most, most of the time they won't tell you in the car. So you can see up ahead there's traffic as there is a truck slowing the traffic down. So it's gonna slow down a bit and let that, let the, let's just follow the traffic. Rather than staying at 60, you can see I'll slow down to uh, 30 kilometers per hour. And we're gonna go according to traffic. As the lights coming up, we're gonna turn left. So the very first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna look over to the left side and we'll put my left indicator on. Make sure there's no bike coming and keep proceeding on the left side. Now to turn left, we're gonna put our left indicator on. So down, and I'm gonna go straight into my left lane. I can go into my, into my right lane, it's my choice. But as I'm a learner, I'm gonna stay in the left lane. So again, school zone. So this this area, this whole road is a school zone. So we are uh, within a school zone, 2 to 4 p.m. It's 2.20 p.m. right now. So we're gonna go according to school zone rules. <clears throat> and all the traffic is doing uh, 40 or below 40. So we're gonna go according to traffic, according to the flow of traffic. So it's gonna slow down over here. You see cars up ahead. They've got the brake lights on as well. So let's gonna slow down and keep, keep proceeding at 40. So you can get out of a, you can come out of a school zone once you go past the next speed sign. So the next speed sign is further up. Yeah. So it's a 60 sign coming up. So once we go past that 60 sign, we're going to increase our speed to 60. We're gonna put our left indicator on, check our left mirror, check our shoulder, make sure there's no one in the bike lane either, and then I'll come over. We're gonna turn left at these lights. Again, looking at the right side, making sure there's no traffic coming through. This this lane does have a right, it does have a green light, so that means no one can cross over. 
So we're gonna come over into our left lane. So from this intersection, from this roundabout, we're gonna go straight. Now, you can see the you can see the road markings. Only the right lane can go straight. So what I'm gonna do is put my indicator on, do a mirror check, do a shoulder check, and come over to the right side and keep going straight. If you are stuck in the left lane and you forget to change lanes to go straight, proceed in the left lane. If you make a mistake, you do not you do not fail the test for going for disobeying an order, but you will fail the test for doing something illegal, which is going straight from the left lane, as the left lane can only turn left. We're going to approach this giveaway sign. Look to both both ways and keep going straight. This is a this is an industrial area, so the speed limit here is sixty. So there's a roundabout approaching. So from the roundabout, we're gonna turn right. So it's a bit of a weird roundabout. Uh, do not enter the new lane that starts at the roundabout. Um, we're gonna have a bit more in-depth discussion about roundabouts in the general Logan vicinity. Um, there's some very weird ones, especially in the Springwood area. Uh, we're gonna go over that. We're gonna make a separate video for that. So we're gonna look to our right side, there's no car coming. So we're gonna keep going around this roundabout and the new lane you can see starts here. Do not enter that lane. Keep going around that lane. And I exit over here. Left indicator before I exit. That was perfect. I'm going to come back up to 60 kilometers per hour. At the lights, I'm going to turn right. There's a green arrow for us. So again, the dotted line, we're gonna stay nice and a bit, bit to the left of the dotted line, but don't go over the left the left side dotted line. Let's go nice and smoothly through that turn. You can see the speed limit is 80 over here, so we're gonna increase our speed to 80. Now you'll notice up ahead, there's another speed sign, meaning that the speed will reduce back down to 60. So we wanna ensure that we are at 60 before we go past that sign. So we're gonna start reducing our speed and now my speed is at 60, and now I can continue on through the speed sign. See there's a red light coming up, so we're gonna slow down nice and easy. It's come to a stop. Green lights, and we can proceed on. At 60. You can see further up there's a, another school zone sign coming up and speed zone speed at school zone is 40 and the line light is flashing. So regardless if if it's not a school day, if the school zone sign is flashing you have to slow down to school zone sign at times. So I'm gonna slow down slow my speed down to 40 and proceed on.
So now my intention is after this uh, intersection, I'm gonna come over to the right lane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm past the intersection and then I'm gonna change lanes. You can't change lanes in the middle of the intersection, otherwise that would be a fail. There's also a solid line which you can see on your right hand side. Well, on the right hand side of that solid line, you can't actually cross that one. So you can't cross that line. You can't interchange, you can't, inter can't change lanes in the intersection and you can't uh, change lanes directly after the intersection, but we can now. So you see the, the buses are lights up ahead. We'll put our right indicator and we're gonna come around this bus. Stop over here. We are being given away, so we're gonna do a quick shoulder check and it's quick, nice and easy coming to our lane. Quick swap at the back window. Indicator on. And come to a nice and easy stop, and we're turning right from these lights. Again, there's a dotted line right in front of us, so we have to make sure that we don't cross that line when we're doing the turn. On the right hand side, that line is to guide us. If more than one third of your, of your car goes over that line, it will be a fail. Okay, the lights have gone green, so we'll go nice and slowly go around that line and keep to our right lane as we were on the right lane and keep going straight. I'm going to increase my windscreen uh, wiper frequency a bit. It is slowly starting to increase in uh, rain, so I thought because my visibility was a bit low, so I increased the speed, increased the frequency. Um, you don't have to increase it. There's no right or, right or wrong way to increase it. Uh, if your visibility is low, then you can, you can increase it. Uh, but if you, you won't get marked down uh, if you don't increase your speed, uh, frequency of your wipers. So coming come back to the transport office, we're gonna turn right into the entry, which is the first gate. Over, there's no, make sure there's no pedestrian crossing. Turn my wipers off, and on this bay, on this bay on the right hand side, we're going to turn, turn into this bay and we'll park in this bay.